All right, hello everyone. It's uh, New Jersey Joe uh, once again. I got a little black box here, and uh, I'm going to open it up and surprise you with something. Uh, first of all, in this little black box, I've got these little things right here. Now, what do you think these are? What do you think I did with these? <laughs> what I'm not going to do. Don't worry, I'm not going to do a medical exam. Um, I'm not sure what these are for. I'll explain that in a minute here. All right, and I got this thing right here. What do you think this is? Look at it. See it? It's a little bit of a. Here you go. I'll give you a clue. <laughs> All right, now you're getting it. And this right here is my little cornet. Now, here's the deal. I don't really play this actually. I just um, I just ordered this, and uh, I ordered it off the internet. And uh, I've just actually recently discovered the internet. I know that's hard for people to believe. How long does it take you to learn? Uh, that there is actually an internet and that people are on the internet and they do things on the internet that are actually very interesting and sometimes they do things that aren't so interesting. So, I'm not sure this actually falls into the category probably of not so interesting. But here it is. Uh, listen to this. I'm going to try to do a note and uh, you tell me if I've succeeded. Thank God my neighbours are a little bit far away from me. I live right in the Jersey Shore and I've got a bit of a house with some property, but a block from the beach, which is beautiful. And the place to play this is right on the beach in the uh, winter time when there's nobody can see me, nobody can hear me. Nobody's out there, really. It's a friggin' cold, but it's uh, beautiful nonetheless. Um, so look, you guys, uh, what's the deal here? Um, what, um, help me understand what I should be doing. Uh, uh, you know, I love the attention and all that, but uh, here's, here, I've got a question for you. Uh, I'm a writer. Uh, I just uh, interviewed some folks, uh, some of the people who have uh, been on this um, internet uh, YouTube thingy. And uh, I'd like to do an article about YouTube. Now, I don't want to do the same old thing, you know, and all that kind of stuff that everybody else does. What's, uh, what's an idea that you have for an article that I might write? I don't know, maybe I could sell it. Uh, I've, got some, uh, I've got some contacts with uh, like New Yorker magazine and that sort of thing, or, or uh, uh, some of the other um, uh, People magazine. I've, I've written some stories for them and that sort of thing. But what's an angle that you think I could I could write about? What's something that you might think that is uh, really interesting? Um, you know what? Send me a video because that would be the greatest thing of all, and tell me what you think I should write about. What's something that I could write about? Maybe it's you. I don't know. Maybe you're very interesting, and you've got something interesting to say. That could be it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm willing to listen, willing to, um, um, you know, get back to you if, uh, if I like your stuff, and then we talk a little bit about uh, what's the best way to proceed. But uh, I'd love to do it, it'd be great. So anyway, I don't want to take too long, because some of these videos just go on and on and on and on forever, and they're just a little bit ridiculous if you know what I mean. So you know who you are. You know who you are, you people out there who are doing those ridiculous videos that just go on and on. And on and just keep talking about the same old thing, same old nonsense over and over and over again. They just keep going and going and going and going and you're saying, all right, enough already. I've heard enough. I know I got, I got your thing. I know what you're up to. But, you know, you just keep talking about it. You go on and on and on and on. And then it's like minutes you drag by. Before you know it, you might be one of these directors who can talk beyond 10 minutes. And then, oh boy, then we're all have to be forced to listen to your nonsense for you know, 15 minutes or so, it gets a little obnoxious, and people who just keep going on about this stuff, I, I can't see how they do it. And I don't for a minute guess how people can listen to this stuff all day long. It would drive me bleeding crazy. So don't do it. Don't keep talking about the same thing over and over again. So if you're going to send me a video, try to keep it crisp, try to keep it short, let me know what you're thinking, give me your idea, but don't go on and 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 on about the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's ridiculous, okay? So don't do it. And um, I, I'll look forward to what you have to send to me, and uh, hopefully it'll be something. But don't make it long. Make it short. Try to keep it to the point, because otherwise people tune out. They don't, they don't look here. They don't like to listen to the same thing over and over and over again. People want you to get to the point. And once you've made your point, that should be it. There should be no more issue you know you just listen you respond 
and I'll get back to you. That's all you need to know. You don't need to go on about anything. So I'm hoping that's what you're going to do and that you're not going to go on about it because that would be a big mistake. And I, I wouldn't like you to see it damage your chance of being interviewed by me because your interview was, your, your response to me was just too long. It just went on a bit more than it should have. You know, you, you made your point and then you go on about it, you explain it, and then you over-explain it, and then it gets really complicated, and then it gets embarrassing for everybody. And then, and then you know, we're right back where we started from, and we're talking about people who just go on about things, and they don't know when to quit. So quit already, keep it simple, tell me what you want to tell me, and don't go on about it. That's all I'm asking you to do. It's a simple request, I think. And I think it's one that could be easily uh, understood and followed if you are, were of the right mind. Now, if you're not of the right mind, and you're one of these blokes who likes to birds, who likes to talk and talk and talk and talk, well, then you just feel free to talk all you like. But I'm not going to listen. I'm going to turn you off after about five minutes, maybe after three minutes, if I sense that you're one of those people that just likes to go on a bit. And if you do go on a bit, I'm warning you right now, that I'm not going to listen to your entire tape unless you're extremely attractive, you're a beautiful woman or a very handsome man who brings out some of my, you know, homosexual tendencies. But you know, well, believe me, I, I, I don't think I'm gay. Although I am willing to admit that there may be something inside of me that may be partially gay. I think every man must admit that and come to terms with that at some point in their life, because actually, that, in, uh, as as you well know, is all part of the makeup of being a macho man. You've got to be in touch with your feminine side, and sometimes that feminine side is actually your homosexual side. And I, I don't have a problem with that, really. I'm 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 quite quite adjusted to the fact that that may be a part of my life that I need to explore and that I need to understand better. And so, of course, if you want to respond to that and say, look, Joe, uh, I understand where you're coming from. I know what your issues are. And there are things out here, there are medications that can help you. There are people that can help you. You might need counseling. You might need someone to talk to you. You might actually need to come to terms with what it is you are and where it is you're going and make sure that you understand what your destiny is, my friend, because that could be, in fact, your destiny. But, you know, I'm, I don't know that for a fact and I'm not, I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm just saying that that may very well be where I'm headed. But, um, look, I love ladies. Don't get me wrong. I love all these ladies and I'd love to be with one of you ladies right now. But... Um, I'm a little busy right now because I'm making an introduction for this tape to invite people to respond to me about what they think might be interesting for me to write about on this YouTube or the WeTube or the iTube or whatever tube it is. Uh, maybe it's a tuba. Now, I don't have a tuba. All I have is this, what I think is a little bit of a miniature coronet. Uh, I think that's it. Does anybody know? Is this a coronet? All right, that's it. I'm going to end it. Uh, I'm going to end it with a little bit of a song. I like to call this one Up the Lazy River. Uh, and, and you know, if you want to sing along, you go right ahead. Here it is. Beautiful song. I don't know who it's by. Maybe called Porter or something like that. But here it is, Up the Lazy River. And you go ahead and you sing right along, if you like. so far. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your comments and your responses. This is New Jersey Joe. God bless you. I'm signing out. Bye.